Good morning, ladies and gents, sovereigns and serfs, people of Tamriel on this fine province called Skyrim. We are in a tiny tucked in area to the west over here. We're about to go and fight some bandits at a camp I discovered last episode. The Dragonborn comes for them. Surely they shall not stand a chance. That's right. Oh, am I? I think you are the fool to fight the Dragonborn, and I cannot get around to that side of you to swing my axe properly. I do not know where you've gone. The trees, the foliage, hath blinded me. Okay, that's your role play for the day. I thought about it hard. I hope you appreciated it. I did not see where we are, but I think it said it was a mine. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. Our horse... My horse saved me. Excuse me. Ow! Hey, my horse did not Look, Paladin Dance did not appreciate that. You will not skin Paladin Dance alive. Only I am allowed to do that. So yeah, this is... Oh my god, I was inside my horse for a second. Um, this is definitely a, um... Mine... Camp, maybe, of some type? Let's see what we find here. Regular iron stuff, nothing too impressive. Iron, iron, iron. Orcish! An orcish uh, sword, too. That could be quite useful. Let's see here. Huh. My battle axe is so beat up that this steel warhammer is actually better. I think that different weapon types do different types of damage with the overhauls I have here, though, so I think that um, a slashing weapon is probably better for most things. I'm not really sure, though. Like, I, I know there's, like, crushing damage and slashing damage, and I'm not sure how the different armor types interact with that and what type of weapon I should be using for what situation. Ooh, hey, that's shiny and very expensive, very nice. I don't know what the proper procedure for all of that should be. If you are more experienced with this mod, with uh, Wildlander, let me know in the comments how I should be dealing with enemies when it comes to different weapon types, different armor types. Ooh, or a Calcum or You know, when I played Skyrim originally, I used to call this Oracalum. I thought that was an E and not a C. It is a C, right? Yeah, it's a C, or a Calcum. I think I misread it once. You know how when you, like, misread something once, you just remember it that way forever? That's kind of what happened. And so I just called it Oracalum. Or Oracalium. I mean, personally, I think Oracalium is a, a cooler name than Oracalcum. But, I mean, you know, we're going to call things what they are or else I'll be roasted in the comments forever. So, use our survival skill here and see if I can... Make sure I'm not missing any bodies here. There's two over there that we already looted. I'm leaving my horse up here. It was hard enough getting him up here to begin with. I'm not going to try to navigate him down the stairs again. Because that was interesting, getting up the stairs. Surprised it did so well to begin with. So there's a mine here. Oh, there was a, um, a smelter over there. Not a kiln, a smelter. Kilns are what you use to make pottery. So that's, that's not a kiln, that's a smelter. Ooh, a greater soul gem. Nice find. Lots of carrots, more, more bear carrot stew. I'd want some potatoes in my bear carrot stew, personally. Never had bear meat before. I've had a lot of different uh, wild game. Those are some orcish arrows. Iron knife and iron lantern. Okay. I've had a lot of different types of wild game before, because growing up, uh, Dab was into hunting quite a bit. I was never real keen on hunting myself, personally. I, I thought it was kind of boring being in the woods all the time, although I did enjoy the whole shooting guns part and uh, shooting it at things. That I, I got behind, I'm going to be honest. Um, it was fun to, uh, you know, get my first deer and stuff. I remember that pretty vividly. It's actually my first and only deer. I'm glad I, I went deer hunting, and I'm glad I got a deer. 
and got the experience, though I don't think I'd really ever want to go that much again. But, um, it was good to have that life experience, I guess you'd say. Gonna head inside the Bile Gulch mine here. We do have our healing going, so we should be good. Our passive healing from our healing aura spell. It's rather dark in here. I hear people, so... Maybe I should just go overwhelming force here. Time to this little. Yeah, you know, that actually worked pretty well. Just charge him. Um... Oh, I had my light on already and it was still that dark. All right. Just the one guy in here, huh? And lots of orichalcum or... This was a more extensive mine probably originally, but it looks like there was a cave in here. Or something, I don't know. Okay, well, um... This will take me a while to mine all of this ore, and I certainly do want all of the orcish ore because we have some decent... Ooh, smithing. A smithing book. Does this mean I can study this and get smithing to level up further? That'd be great. I could just study this before I go to bed every night. Uh, the Armorer's Challenge is what that was called, right? Uh, let's go by name... Do you want to study this book? Yes, I would, but not now. Okay. So we can study that tonight and get some smithing skill and uh, hopefully get it maxed out so that whenever we kill our first dragon, we can make some nice dragon bone armor. I believe that's an evasion-based armor, so it's a light armor. So that would be awesome. I'm going to spend some time smacking rocks over here. Ooh, nice, a gem. And mine this place out. I believe these respawn over time, so eventually we ought to be able to uh, come back here and get more. But I realize it's quite boring for you to watch me smack rocks for like 20 minutes, so I'll see you once it's done. Okay, I believe I have gotten all the ore in here as well as looted the uh, unimportant barrels and such around here, but there is a nice chest here. Oh, and I guess we had a mine key that we looted from somebody. Orcish arrows. Whoa, leather bracers of major lock picking. Lock picking skill is increased by 9 and expertise is increased by 10. That is fantastic. That is amazing. I'm using those right now. Really nice find in an orcish cuirass. Two orcish swords. I could dual wield them. I haven't thought about doing dual wield. Is that that's a thing, right? You can still dual wield and a random sharp rock. This is useful for making fires, I think. Silk cloth and major conjuration circlet. Wow, this is a really... Oh, a major conjuration ring. Maybe I'll be a necromancer. Okay, I'm just going to take it all. I wanted to see what was in there, though. Cool. What a great chest we're going to save after that, because I don't want to crash and lose that chest. I'm assuming it's probably randomly spawned. We're putting on those gloves, those bracers, right now. Let's see here. Uh, leather. Yeah, just name leather... Bracers of major lockpicking. We're losing a lot of stats for that, but the 9 lockpicking and 10 expertise. So that puts us at, um, how does that factor in? I guess it's like, it's, a, it's roughly 1 to 1. We have 24 lockpicking now. Well, 33, actually. So, does that allow me to pick up this sooner? No, I think it's 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 dependent upon the base stat right here. Okay. But still, I think you get lockpicking expertise. I I'm pretty sure you get expertise... Well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe it's only magical items that give you extra expertise whenever they would give lockpicking skill, since there's no point... I think everything is converted from lockpicking skill to expertise, if that makes sense with the mods I have on. Okay, well that was a wonderful, wonderful experience. This is a cool camp. We have a forge here. We have an armor workbench. 
the forge is a very nice find, or the, well, not the forge, the um, the smelter. The smelter is a very nice find. Um, I'm gonna take some time to go through my inventory here. I've been warned about keeping too much crap in my inventory, which, yes, I am keeping a lot of crap in my inventory. I need to scrap a bunch of this stuff, store a bunch of it. Um, my goal is not to just be a walking vault with everything in it. I do want to sort my inventory from time to time and drop off stuff that I don't need. My goal is just to be able to not have to so frequently do what I'm about to do, which is to um, drop a wooden chest. Oh, I've also been told... I've also been told that I should be using, instead of a wooden chest, a wooden barrel, because the wooden barrel is a lot easier to place. It has the same functionality, same weight and everything. It's a magical chest that you can craft in this mod and place it anywhere. Okay, it's the same exact thing. What does that wooden bellows do? I just saw that in there for a second. I'm curious now. Nothing. Okay, just I was just curious. Some of those random items have functionality. Anyway, I've been told that I can place this a lot easier than I can place the chest because it has a smaller footprint and it's just it's just better to use overall. But yeah, it has the same functionality. So the whole carry weight thing, the reason for it is so that I don't have to do what I'm about to do, which is to sort my inventory and do a bunch of uh, sorting and breaking down and stuff so often. I'm not doing the editing all the time, because normally I'd just be doing this like every five minutes whenever my inventory gets full, but instead I can wait until I have a whole bunch of crap and do it all at once and then dump it all back in there. Anyway, I'm going to do this and I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, finally done with salvaging, doing a little bit of crafting and a bit of um, improving on stuff as well to improve my, my spinning skill. It's getting quite dark, though, because while you're salvaging and, and doing all that stuff, it, it doesn't pause time, so... Getting late. Uh, I think we ought to head back at this point. I need to mark it on my map so I know where I'm going here. I want to go back down this way. Because it's getting so dark so quick, I'll probably just kind of beeline back for the base, and we can do a bit more exploration tomorrow. And I'll sort my inventory once I'm back there as well. Um, hello? Folks? Not hostile? Oh, are these... Are these... These are elven people. Hi, are you a... Uh, hold on. Are you a prisoner? Are, these are all elven people, huh? Thalmer, eh? Wait, you're imperial? No, no, in any old, just a named person. Screw you guys. I hate elves. Stop lighting my horse on fire. Oh god. It burns. It burns. All right, uh, we gotta use some stuff here because that was a bit much. Please don't kill my horse. He's a nice horse. He really is. Foul mage. Pretty sure it didn't give me a bounty or anything, so yeah, screw you, Thalmer. Screw you, elves. I'm taking all your stuff. Elven stuff is nice. You wear elves, right? I mean, you're wearing all elven armor. I was trying to get a look at her face, or her ears, rather. My orc does not appreciate what you, Thalmer, are doing to our Skyrim, okay? Ooh, waning fire. Fire resist boots. Very nice. Nice helmet, too. Yeah, Thalmer stuff. Dirty elves. I give you no respect, you dirty elves. Hell, ooh, more health? One-handed damage. Okay, well, that's not that great, but it'll sell for a lot, I'm sure. I can break some of this stuff down, too. So this is an evasion-based shield. Yeah, you stinking elf. How you like that? You're dead now. I have no mercy for the Thalmor. 
The Empire may bow to these elven scum, but a true orc of Skyrim does not bow to these lawless usurpers who seek to weaken our great province. May you rot, elf. Puh. There, I spit on him. Okay. Oh, there and oh, and they killed some stormcloaks here. Yeah. Rest in peace, true sons of Skyrim. Worry not, your gear shall go towards fueling another true son of Skyrim. If I could bury you with the shovel, I would. I don't think the roleplay goes that far in this mod, but I would if I could. Hmm, we have a tower over here. Banner Mist Tower. Alright, let's take a look at this. He got some time. I'm going to save after that, too. That was a good fight. But we came out alive. And our horse came out alive. We are hungry and thirsty. Let's have a drink. And some bear stew. Now oh. Ain't this a surprise. Out of stamina now, aren't you, buddy? I probably should heal myself. Stamina too, I would say. Gotta make some more stamina potions or buy some. Oh, you got me, really? What do we have here? What are you guys doing out here? This random tower locking stuff up. It's just, just your, like, strong room or something. You're keeping all your ill-gotten goods. Very nice. Should definitely heal. I really should bind that sword, shouldn't I? Oh, it's not even favorited. Gosh darn it. Sort by damage. Favorite. Bind it. There we go. What was going on here? Well, iron clothes press. That's a lot of iron. We can scrap that for a lot of iron fragments. Make some stuff out of it. We'll make... Well, let's be honest. We're going to make a million lockpicks out of it, but yeah. Random book here. Ooh, lockpicking. Uh, this really... I can't study this. This is not a... Hold on. Can I not study this thing? Oh, yes, I can. Lockpicking. Hell yes, I can study this book and learn lockpicking. I'll be studying. That's going to be priority number one, guys, because getting into stuff that I shouldn't be getting into, that's my number one goal. Tanning rack... That was a deer in the distance. That'll be awesome. If I can get to the next uh, lockpicking level, I can maybe get into that master lockpick that's out in my uh, my front yard back at the Crack Tusk Keep. Wabba Jack. Can I... Can I read... Can I... This is like a conjuring thing, right? Can I study this? No, okay. That is the the book from which the... Well, it's a book related to the Daedric artifact. 
which the, of course, um, the the application which, you know, you use to install Modelist, which I used to install Wildlander, was named from. I don't know what you guys are doing, but you were hostile towards me, so rest in peace to you. And, uh, back we go. Uh-oh. Spriggan. I did kill one earlier. It w it would cost me a lot of health, though. It was pretty rough. I don't know if I want to go at that Spriggan right now. I think I might pass. And there's the fire one over here, too. Right? Or what is this? Oh! No, it's just a evil conjurer. You dead? Yeah, he's dead. What did I just interrupt? What what happened? Were you Were you being sacrificed? This looks like an altar to me. Uh Sorry, I thought I got here in time, but I guess not. Uh, 2920, Volume 10, Frostfall. Frostfall, Book 10 of 2920, The Last Year of the First Era, by Karlovac Townway. Gosh, this is a book that is probably... Probably had by a mod, by the Frostfall mod... I'm not really sure. I'll take it. It's a lot of reading, though. Maybe I'll find an opportune time to read that to y'all. Where did my dead sorcerer go here? What were you doing over here? Yeah, you were a necromancer. You're trying to summon something. Soul gem fragment. Fire sparks. Hey, a, fi a destruction fire. Ooh, staff of fireball. Whoa, 80 damage. That's awesome. Not sure if I can use it, but that's awesome. All right. Cool little random encounter here. Not sure what they were doing out here, but something evil, I'm sure. I totally missed a book over here when I walked past earlier. Yeah, right here. Oh, Bound Cloak. Creates a magical cloak for 150 seconds. What is the... What does it do, though? A bound cloak of what? Yeah, I totally missed this. I wonder if these are like random encounters add by a mod and they just kind of plop them down somewhere. It's really cool if that's the case. I've seen a couple of those now and I don't remember them from the base game of Skyrim. So I don't know if it's a mod that was in this or something else, but anything that adds a little something like that to the world, random encounters like that, it's pretty cool in my opinion. Is this our keep? Are we back home? Yeah, we're back home. Nice. Okay, I'm going to um, do some stuff. Probably study some lock picking. Let's get a quick bath here before we go to bed. Fill our water bottle and such as well. Wash off the blood and the dirt and the grime from the day. We'll get a proper bath with the soap in the morning. And then like a true orc. Okay, are we done? We're good? Like a true orc, we will we will fill our water bottles and our water skins with that dirty water. Good job. I'm sure that won't end badly for you. And um Yeah, let's head back inside and uh do a bit of study on our book. And then we'll be off to bed. You know what I, I need? I need, a, I need to make a chair so I can sit by the fire here and study my book. Really, I can make all these things, huh? This is interesting. I didn't know I could make all this stuff. Hide lace and animal bones and I can make all these things. That's very interesting. Materials harvested from carcasses are unusually bountiful. Hmm. That is worth putting on, I would say. Better low-light vision as well. 
Okay, I'm gonna make one of these. One of these. More capable at foraging as well. Okay, so we can just put that on and we're better at foraging. This is smithing skill too. How interesting. More movement speed? That's all very interesting. A backpack, right? I don't actually need a backpack, but I'm gonna make one. Purely because I feel like normally I would have one if I wasn't using the, the carry weight thing, so... I'll, I'll, I'll make one just for that, basically. I would like a wooden... chair, though. And maybe a common table, too. Yeah, sure. A chair. A table. It's gonna be kind of in the way, though, isn't it? Okay, maybe, maybe no table. But that's okay. We'll just, uh, do the chair instead. That's reasonable. There we go. Now we can sit down, have ourselves a nice seat by the fire here. Warm these old orc bones up, and we can take out our book that I wanted to read, the lockpicking book. And we can say this for a few hours before bed. Study, yes. Um, sure, why don't we do like, I don't know, four hours. I wonder what this uh, does exactly. Besides increase lockpicking skill. Does that help my lockpicking at all? I need to level up too. Uh, sure. Okay, it, it, it reduces my magicka. Temporarily, because we're studying. I think it did give me a couple of lockpicking skills. Wasn't I at 24 before? Now we're at 26, so that's cool. I'm down with that. Alright, and now off to bed after we get ourselves a snack because we are hungry. Just some bread. I couldn't just have bread, though. That's no fun. Maybe some bread and a nice slice of cheese. Yes, nice slice of Idar cheese. There we go. We're up studying pretty late, actually. Okay, that's fine, though. It'll be like 9 a.m. when we get up. Thirsty and hungry once again. Bear carrot stew. Water skin. Good to go. Okay. Has my Magicka returned to normal now, or are we still suffering from a mental exhaustion? No, we're good. We have our full Magicka back again, it looks like. Alright. Back out into the world we go. Let's get a quick bath over here. A proper bath using soap. And good to go. Yes, good to go. Okay. Out we go then for the day. I think I would like to make my way back over towards Falkreath and do a bit of crafting. Because we have amassed quite a bit of stuff. I'd like to pump up my blacksmithing a bit more and my alchemy as well. I'm going to make the trip over there, and I'll just see you once I'm there, unless something befalls me upon the way. Okay, we are here. I'm going to park my horse here. Well, no, it doesn't matter, actually, I guess. I can just go in. Okay, so here is the regular trader. There is the inn. And there is the blacksmith. This is what I want, the blacksmith. We're going to make ourselves a whole bunch more lockpicks. So I can just go into here and use smithing toolkit. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I need to make a fire actually. Oh God, I'm stuck. I forgot before I do that, where did my horse just go? Oh, there he is. I want to make a campfire because it will give me a skill bonus experience. Looking into the flames for a bit gives us a skill bonus experience. Plus, I haven't done that for a while. And uh, it's useful for camping skill. I'm just going to put it right in the middle of the road. I don't even care. You guys can deal with my middle of the road campfire. I'll just try it afterwards. It's fine. Let's make a fire. Need to add some tinder. What do we have here? We have lots of animal fat, sure. Make, make some animal fat tinder. Add tinder. Light. 
We use good tinder. I guess my camping steel is not very good, so it takes us a while to get it going. That guy's even bored watching me. He's yawning. He's like, my god, this, this guy can't even make a fire. What a noob. There we go. Jeez, Louise, it took a while. Camping perk is available. Good. Let's upgrade the campfire. Okay. Let's um, do skills. I already know about skills. It's fine. Not to use them. So yes, we have the camping camping skill. So let's learn about firecraft. We have one perk to choose here. Let's go ahead. Lighting campfire seven seconds faster in all weathers. Okay, that's fine. We have to take it anyway to get up the perk tree a bit. Then we can... Next skill. So these are all added by... Uh, I think a camping mod or something. Unyielding. Carry weight increased. Okay. Um, sure. It doesn't really matter because I have basically infinite carry weight, but, you know, yeah, sure. Uh, this is warmth rating. That'll be nice, but we're not there yet. Okay. We're back to here. Okay. Do I feel inspired? After leaving the campfire? I am inspired. Excellent. I feel inspired, Paladin Dance. Let's go. And now we will get increased... Don't you run off now. Increased experience for doing crafting stuff. So I'll get more out of this. I think it's only 5%, so it's probably not that big of a deal, but... You know, everybody helps, right? Okay, so we want to make some lockpicks. We're going to spam the lockpicks. Once again, to get more smithing levels. And so we'll never have to worry about lockpicks ever again. I'll see you once I'm done with this. It's going to take a while. Oh my god, what's happening? What just happened? Why'd you kill this woman? Oh, they were a vampire. Well, uh, thanks for the free stuff. Good job, Otis. A bit brash, but that is your name after all, Otis the Brash, so I suppose, you know, to be expected. Okay, I was just scrapping some stuff and then all hell broke loose out there. Did my horse run away? No, he's over there. He's good. He got out of the way of the fighting. Good job, horse. Okay. Uh, back to my crafting stuff here. Okay, not bad. 85, almost 86 smithing. I got a couple of levels here, too, from all of that. Let's just go with health again. I have so much stamina, by the way, because I picked the steed sign. Because I'm a, a fighter, I thought having stamina would be a good way to go. But health seems to be... The most pressing thing. Nice. Five perk points to spend here. Excellent. Well, we're going to be pumping up our smithing a bit more. Well, you know, we're going to be doing some of this stuff with smithing. What can we do up here? Glass smithing. Yeah, I want to make glass stuff eventually. Sure. And then eventually I can do... I'm not sure what this is. Stall rooms shaping... Sacred Art of Stall Rim Shaping. I'm not sure what that means. This is 100. This is what we're going for. We can make Dragon Bone Materials. And uh, we can temper it 100% more efficiently, which is awesome. We can also access... Uh, what, what else we got here? I hate this system, by the way. Like, how, do, how you have to navigate it. It's, it's annoying. Um, the Forge Sings Your Steel. Yes. Uh, you temper everything 50% more efficiently. Um, cool. So that's just going to be really, really good tempering, then we can make things really a lot better. Morrowind smithing is that we can craft items from bone. That could be quite good. Um, I don't know if I want to spend a perk on it right now. Same with the stall room smithing. I'm not sure what it's useful for, so I don't want to do it right away. Dwarven might be nice. And orcish as well, purely because we want to be able to temper our, or our orcish gear more effectively. 
it's a temporary thing though like i might not really need it in the long run you know because we're and the thing is like we're not really using orcish um i could make like an elven greatsword instead wouldn't that be like the same tier and then i wouldn't have to worry about the orcish spending the, the perk on the orcish stuff i have some elven stuff here i could use i just haven't I haven't spent any points on it just yet because I didn't want to, like, waste it. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if I want to go into blocking or not, either. Because I would want to do, like, two-handed blocking, and this is all about blocking with shields. I know you can block with, um, weapons, but I don't think it's really wise for me to go into that over here. Ooh, we can go into some more stuff over here, though. I do like my great swords, so attack speed and armor penetration. Does the attack speed? I'm not sure if the attack speed on great swords applies to power attacks, and power attacks seem to be where it's really at with two-handed weapons. So I'm not sure if this is actually worth it. If great swords are actually where it's at, maybe I should be going with the warhammer instead, and doing power attacks deal even more damage and have more armor penetration. That seems pretty good. Yeah, this is going to buff my power attack damage even more. That seems to be what I should be doing, is like, focusing on power attacks. All this stuff, well, this is just 1.4 times damage, but this is an extra multiplier, right? So, this is, uh, power attack stamina cost drain is less. This is more power attack damage. And then what do we have up here? More power attack damage? Yeah, so I think that's the way to go, is just to boost up our power attack damage. Sprinting power attack as well. That would be great. And then what's the last one here? Sideways power attack and hit multiple targets. That's also pretty good. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. I think we're going to go with that. Um, marksman I can increase a bit more as well. And doing ranged is going to be important for certain things. So uh, allows running while attacking with light bows and crossbows. Um, hmm... That could be pretty useful for... But I don't really use light, light bows all that much. Maybe we hold off a bit and just put into price, precise aim. I'm not sure if I want to go with that route or not. What about evasion here? We have another point we can put into here, right? Finesse. Your training enhances your power attack damage by 3%. For every piece of evasion armor or clothing currently equipped, maximum of 12%. Well, that's... Guys, it's all pushing me towards... Big, big smashy smashy hits with power attacks. That seems pretty good. Cool. We'll leave it at that for now. Um, I don't know if I want to waste points on orcish smithing. Uh, I just don't know if I want to waste the points on it when I could just make an elven or even buy one. Good, but mm. Like, but do you have an elven greatsword or anything? Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Or an elven warhammer would be good too. I have that steel warhammer, you know. See me at my but if I want to make an elven warhammer, I have to scrap some elven stuff, which is a bummer. Cause, oh, well, unless he's got some stuff I could use, I should probably, probably should buff this to make it worth a lot more. Yeah, It'll give me a bunch of skill too, because it's going to be expensive. Yeah, yeah, I think that's how it works. These as well, that's fine. Steel stuff is fine, I got plenty of steel. God, I love heavy armor. I wish heavy armor was better in this. I would love to be a heavy heavy armor two-handed juggernaut in this playthrough, but um, it just, it's not as good, guys. It's not as good as being, whoa. Okay, yeah, this is, this is the boots I got. Right, I should put those on. Those are really good boots and I'm gonna need fire resist, so. Elven Boots of Waning Fire. Yes, I want to put these on because I will need the fire resist for sure. The shields, here we go. Those are worth a not a ton, and they give me a ton of the calcinium. So now I should be able to make those ingots, right? Ingot, calcinium, indeed. Just do ten of them at once. There we go. Okay. Don't I have a Fortify Smithing Potion? Yes, Fortify Smith. It's only three points. Okay. 
This one's five points. It's, it's still bad. It still is quite bad. I'm not sure if this really makes a difference, honestly, but sure, let's do that. We'll be a good, better smith for a bit. Not a lot better, but a little bit better. And let's get our smithing toolkit out here and make ourselves an elvish warhammer. Elven warhammer. I need two quicksilver ingots. Okay, I will buy several quicksilver ingots. Hopefully you have them. Let's see. Ingot. You don't have any. Of course you don't have any quicksilver. Let's try the general shop then and see if they've got any. I'm sure it'll be overpriced as hell, but I just need two. We're going to sell a bunch of stuff anyway. That's not the general shop. That's the inn. Grey Pine Goods is the, is the general shop. Here we go. Let me know if you see anything you like. Well met. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Uh, you don't have any either? Dang it. Well, that stinks. Um, Steal anything from my shop. What's required to make Quicksilver? Let me see. Part, excuse me? Why are you, why are you following me out here? And why do you have like a bandit mask on, man? Don't try to rob me. You just told me not to rob you. Okay, how do I make... Quicksilver ingot. Quicksilver ore. It, uh, <laughs> this is not really helpful. Can I scrap elven stuff to get quicksilver? No, I just need to find quicksilver somewhere. Yeah, I, I can't... I just can't do this. That's a real pain in the ass. All right. I really want to do this. Um, I'm determined now. Let's... Maybe we go up to Whiterun, finally? We go right up to Whiterun and see if the vendors there have anything. Screw you, Falkreath. This town sucks. You don't have anything good. I'm going to Whiterun. Alright, this is the... Um, the pine watch or whatever. I never actually cleared this out all the way. I I decided to back out because the bands in there were a bit hard. Maybe on our way back we can try and clear that out fully. Take out the rest of the bad boys in there and... Uh-oh. Bandits on the road. Ow. How dare you. How dare you attack a mounted orc of my renown? Your death shall fuel my smithing skill, which shall in turn fuel my levels. Thank you for your contribution to the Dragonborn. The Guardian Stones. We can swap our Guardian Stone here if we want to. Is that correct? Mage Stone, Thief Stone, Warrior Stone. I'm not going to switch. I prefer... Yeah, I prefer to stay with the, um, Steed Stone for the extra stamina. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Paladin Dance. You, you were stuck in there for a second and you were bugging out. There's fishing in this as well, by the way. I haven't done it yet, but you can certainly go fishing here. It's an awfully nice day for it. Maybe I can find a free fishing pole here? That I could use... Yes. Oh, shit, that was stealing. Wasn't it? Are you upset? Or was it stealing? I'm not sure if that was stealing or not. I saw a red thing, but I saw it too late. I'll take that with me as well. I think that's just kind of to tell you how to do smithing. Fishing map for Falkreath. Oh, nice. Uh, Okay. Coin purse can be taken as well. What about the chest back here? This is all just able to be looted. I suppose this is all added by the fishing mod. Like it makes these little fishing camps around where you can do some fishing. And, uh... Sure. So you can just take all this stuff, huh? Okay, well, can I harvest your, 
your fish here. You don't really care. Alright, so now that we have the, fi the fishing pole, I can equip it. Wooden fishing rod, yeah. Then we can use the fishing supplies, and that will bring us into the fishing minigame here. I've done this before, so I'm not going to bore you with reading everything. It's pretty simple. You just wait until your line comes up fully. Not until it just jerks a little bit, but when it's like fully... You got a fish hooked, it looks like. Like, not that. Wait a second. Wait for it. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. There we go. And we got a juvenile mud crab. Okay. Let me just keep using it. So you can just keep doing this. And eventually the fish will stop coming in and you'll have to wait until like the next day or something. You can stop doing the fishing, but you can just keep doing this and uh, get some free food. You can also get some interesting crafting materials. Like I've gotten iron war axe or battle axe heads or whatever that I can scrap for uh, lots of iron to be used for lock picking and such. Once you start getting junk, uh, it's time to kind of stop, really, with the fishing. Unless you really want to keep going and just fish all day and get up a whole bunch of junk and scrap it all, which you can do if you want to. Lady, you're just staring right at me, and you're right in the way of my casting. I'm really worried that I'm going to hook you, you know? Okay, we're just, we're just getting junk now, so I think we're done. But that is fishing. I probably won't show it ever again because uh, it can be a little bit boring for people, I would say. But that is fishing. Okay, so we need to go up this way towards White Run. There is a path that goes through Riverwood over here, right? This little path goes through Riverwood. Normally, this is the path you'd take from Helgen. Oh, gosh, so pretty. Yeah, we go from Helgen down through here. I hear a wolf over there. Oh, put on your, your sword. Nice, two-handed increase. Thought I heard another one, too. Oh well, if there is one more, I guess he gets to live. There are definitely more up there. Whatever, I'm not... I'm on a mission to make a better weapon, guys. I want to be able to one-shot things and to make more soap, which means we loot every, every blue and red mountain flower that we see. Every single one of them. So we can make more soap, so we never run out of soap. So we always have that lovely stamina regen. My goal will be eventually to just have so many I can stop worrying about them and just ignore them, you know, and focus on other things. But for now, we have to worry about them. Some Nurn Root. I don't think I've gotten any Nurn Root yet. Maybe, I don't know. I guess we can check Riverwood, too, and see if there's any, um, see if this guy has any glass or elven stuff. What would it take to make... A glass warhammer. Since we can do glass now, it's probably the better option, right? Yeah, I, I can certainly make glass stuff. Maybe I go with that instead. I need a, I need a uh, some malachite glass grace. So this is like the same thing. Better actually. Two eighteen. What's the glass uh, warhammer? Two thirty eight. Four malachite ingots. Okay. I suppose we go with that instead. Yeah. So Malachite. I didn't see any, any Malachite on the previous guy either. Um, I'm assuming I could probably make some if I scrapped some stuff. Do I have any Malachite fragments I can make here? Doesn't look like it. I could buy a glass piece or I could buy some... I can't convert building glass to it, can I? Doesn't look like it's possible to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Can I just buy some... That magic away from me. What magic? You not sell stuff? Right. Okay, general store is here. This is the um, the guy that gives us the quest to go up to the. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures. No theatrics. No thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. 
We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help you get that claw back. Probably not right now, but later. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Are we going right now? Okay. Wait. Show them... Real quick. I just need to buy... Do you have any Malachite? Ingots? You do have a Malachite ingot. Well, you have one. Okay. I didn't even look. Oh, that was pretty expensive. So it's going to cost me a pretty penny to get that, but... Okay, whatever. It's fine. If I can make a nice... Ooh, hey, look. Here's an Elven Warhammer just for sale. It only costs eight twenty two. I mean, maybe I just buy this and call it good for now. I don't know. Um, the Malachite might be hard to come by. I hate spending my gold, though. I don't have a lot of it right now. Till next time. I may be back for that. And hold on, whatever your name was. Okay, sure, let's go. Oh, sorry. Where, where are we going? Where are you going? Okay, there we go. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. The hell? He never quite explained where he got it. It's a tricky one. Game started, like, pushing me sideways. That was weird. I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Okie dokie. Are you gonna go then? That's cool. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. Okay. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Alrighty. Alright, do I want to just buy that? Nah, let's let's keep going. I'm not doing this quest right now. I didn't really plan to get this in Riverwood. I assumed I'd have to go to White Run for it. Let's go to White Run and see if we can find a bit more Malachite. And then, uh, which way do we want to go here? Yeah, Windhelm... And White Runner this way. Okay, I want to go to White Run. Whoops. I think for these guys I want to use um, blunt damage. They'll be less, more susceptible to blunt damage. Oh my god, just get off the horse. Don't you pinch Paladin Dance. 
Don't you do it. Squished. This little bit of hunting and butchery and stuff, that would have been, if I left the default settings on Hunterborn, that would have been easily like, I don't know, probably five minutes of waiting in fade screens and menus. And that's, that's why we don't use the default settings because it just, it's way, it's not fun, not immersive, just annoying. Okay, I think I will leave it off for here now because we're getting pretty far into the episode. We'll continue our journey towards Whiterun and our quest to make either an elven or a glass warhammer next time. Thanks for watching.